Okay, today we are back taking a look at more Ixalan cards. And um, one thing that's happened is that Wizards, if you haven't heard, has basically said that they are going back and learning from their mistakes in uh, War of the Spark and these other sets that have had just Planeswalkers out the butt. And uh, they're going back to their old format of having just a single Planeswalker in every set. It kind of helps with a story where you're just mostly covering the story of one person rather than many people on multiple adventures that are intertwined. And apart from the lore, that means that in each set, we basically just have one Planeswalker to craft every time. And so maybe that'll help us out with the wild cards a bit. Now today we're taking a look at Mr. Quintorius Canned, one of the new Planeswalkers from the new Ixalan set. For five mana, you get a four mana, or sorry, a four loyalty Planeswalker that drains your opponent for two whenever you cast a spell from exile. The other abilities aren't super important, but what is, is that we get a lot of different ways to cast things from Exile now that we have just had a new um, a new Eldraine set that gives us things like Heart Flame Duelist, we have OG Bone Crusher Giant, and now we have Virtue of Loyalty and Virtue of Courage. So, you know, pretty interesting cards that we've got here. Um, a lot of damage-based things, a lot of things that make blockers from these uh, Exile-based spells, and... This deck is basically going to be trying to play those all while using Strike It Rich, uh, Big Score, in order to ramp ourselves into Quintorius. Uh, basically, we just want to get him out on the battlefield as much as possible so that all of our stuff can start to go. From original uh, Eldraine, we actually even have a Giant Killer as well to destroy a big creature, which is cool. Um, yeah, so we're th running things like Lightning Helix. We want to basically be able to use our life total as a resource here because we're not really playing that many creatures. Uh, we want to hold these uh, adventure spells until we can cast their adventures with Quintorius out, but in a pinch we can just play them as their creatures uh, so that they can be blockers as well. We run some board wipes in terms of Brotherhood's End to deal with artifacts and to kill uh, a bunch of the low-to-the-ground creature decks. We also have Burn Down the House to take out some larger Planeswalkers and... Um, you know, other large creatures, and we can also, you know, create some blockers for Quintorius if he's already on the battlefield. We also do get Quintorius Loremaster, um, another version of Quintorius who is just a legendary creature, and for, on his ability, on your uh, end step, you get to uh, exile something from your graveyard and make a little uh, creature, and then basically you can use those creatures sacrifice them with his uh, activated ability in order to uh, cast the cards that you exiled. So for things like our Bone Crusher Giants, once they're played, once the Heart Flame Duelist is played, uh, if we get them milled or whatever, we can reuse them with this Quintorius. So I'm hoping to see a little bit of usage out of this card today, but primarily we want to get uh, big Quintorius the Planeswalker out. All of the spells that we cast are going to drain our opponent for some damage, and once we get to a certain point, we're just going to po uh, point Bone Crusher Giants at their faces, Lightning Helixes, Virtue of Courages at the face, and hopefully kill. There's also another cool one from uh, March of the, the Machines, which is Chandra Hope's Beacon. For six mana, once we ramp up to there, we can basically copy any instant sorcery that we cast. Uh, that's more or less the only reason that she's in here. Getting two mana for a plus two is also pretty great. And uh, being a removal spell for the amount of her loyalty is also great. So that's the deck. This is uh, Quintorius's exploration in the new Ixalan set. Hope you guys enjoy this one. And before we hop into the games, if you want to support the channel, subscribe if you're new here and like and comment on the video to help with the algorithm. Let's hop into round one. All right, round one. Let's see what we can do here. We actually find one of our two Chandras in our opening hand, crazily enough. I'm going to keep this. Oh man, we actually got the other? That's crazy. What the hell? Alright. Oh, there's a land. We can Virtue of Loyalty in our next turn. Ooh, Quintorius has arrived. Let's go. We'll make a token. And we will say go. Sprite Dragon. How interesting. We'll go ahead and use our Striker Rich. Pass it on to our opponent. So we'll have five or six mana here. I think that I'm going to just play Quintorius here. I'm curious to see if he'll resolve. Will our opponent be no fun today? Darn. Looks like they will be... Uh, 
not a fan of the new cards, sadly. Alright, we'll pass. I guess I could have attacked with my knight. Whoops. With one more land, we get the Chandra Hope's Beacon here. We'll be able to uh, start to do double strike at riches and such like that. Giant Killer will be online for Sprite Dragon here pretty soon. And they do have Ox of Agonis. That's notable. Alright, Lightning Helix for the Sprite Dragon, I'd say, is a good idea. Let's do it now. They didn't have a counter spell, so they just had the one. We'll swing in for two. Alright, we pass. Our backup win con is Virtue of Loyalty here to make our creatures big. They're going to Faithless Looting here. I wonder what comes back. This still could be some sort of Phoenix deck. Alright, we do draw our land here. What are the odds that they drew another um, counter spell? Let's see. Alright, they do have the second Iron Eyes, but we have a second Chandra, so it's okay. We're down to 12 here, but we're slowly starting to close that gap. <clears throat> Let's see what the move is. Electrolyze. That seems like a play where they were just digging. That is an instant speed spell, so they might be trying to find something to play at instant speed. Seems like Ox of Agonis is coming back. There it is. And unless they have exactly spell pierce, should be okay here. Oh, we actually need one more mana. Whatever, we'll get a uh, Quintorius out, I guess. Unless they can tax me on this one as well. Ooh, brutal. Make disappear, sure. So they have had all the counter spell at all the right moments. Good play out of them. So I can go Strike It Rich. Strike It Rich. Attempt to kill Ox of Agonis. We will pay the two. Alright, cool. We've still got seven cards. They're pretty close to being able to Ox of Agonis once again. Um, let's see. So I have Virtual Loyalty and Giant Killer here. I can go Giant Killer plus Strike It Rich. Yeah, I'll do Giant Killer, Strike It Rich. I want to hold Virtue of Courage for Chandra. <clears throat> Alright, we pass. They've got three cards. We have some more mana. We now have an attack as well. I am wondering if I should play this Chandra into a counter spell. I think I should just play around Spell Pierce. We'll play Virtue of Loyalty here. I don't think it's a, worth a counter spell for them. Um, I will pay the two for this. I mean, this just represents a. Uh, this represents a win con, but now they're going to have to use two make disappears. Alright, so I've finally dealt with most of their hand. If they go with Ox of Agonis, that'll use most of their graveyard, and they'll be taking some random cards off of the top. I'm hoping that that means I'll be able to Chandra. Swift Spear, that's okay. Sleight of Hand, that's okay. Well, it's maybe not okay if they find a counter spell. So basically, I go in with Chandra here. Nice, goes right back in. So I'm going to minus three. Get to take out one, two. And we get to go in. So now our Virtue of Courage turns into double Virtue of Courage. And as long as that Spirit Dragon doesn't kill Chandra, it's good. They're going to go for us. Surprising. 
Uh, we're going to add some mana here. Red, red. Cast our Virtue of Courage here. Taking Spirit Dragon. Copy with Chandra target our opponent. They might try to grow their Spirit Dragon. Not really sure. Can they give it Hexproof? They're going to counter that spell. Interesting. We go to one. Okay. Go to one here. Luckily, we should be able to tap that creature in their upkeep. That's going to cost us two mana. So, while I can't cast big score, I can make a token. And then I will move to their turn. No attacks and turn. Go ahead and tap down that sprite dragon. Hope that we survive a turn here. All right, do we die? Draw two cards, discard two. Sure. Okay, they got one card in hand here. They could faithful suiting again. They're really digging for something here. Looking for a counter spell, I guess. Luckily, having Chandra here means that we can play around a counter spell, basically. And Giant Killer can keep Sprite Dragon in check the entire time, but they're gonna have the Electrolyze to deal with this. That was pretty close. We uh, deployed a lot of threats, made them have to counter everything, but they really just uh, were able to tempo us out there. Uh, the little Sprite Dragon that just about could, aided by the Electrolyze to finish us. All right, there was round one. Let's hop into round two, try for it again. All right, here we go. Let's try to make this Quintorious game plan work. We have two lands. We can control the board with Virtues and Bone Crusher Giants until we can get our Quintoriuses into play. I think it's good. Pay life for this uh, Strike It Rich. The mana's a little awkward. We're going to take some damage here, but we have a lot of ways to gain life. Double Quintorius. Not ideal. I think I'm going to play this Virtue of Loyalty first. This gives us the opportunity to be aggressive if we want to, because I see a Savai Trium, and that might mean that this is a uh, combo deck. Nice. We did want one of these. We'll play a Striker Rich here, set up for next turn. And we may resolve our first Squintorius here on turn four. Zetor is proving around it is Strict Proctor. Okay, so they're going to try to ramp up and kill me. Uh, I'm just going to play Quintorius. Here we go. Not okay. Let's go ahead and make a token. We won't bother to attack here. They can just jump block. And next turn, we have Heartflame Duelist to uh, Strict Proctor, get rid of that thing, and then we have Bone Crusher Giant to uh, deal with the face, or anything else that they play. There are four colors. What are they going to cast? They're going to cast nothing. Okay, so I think I'm going to first try to kill their Strix Proctor. Do they have a Counterspell? Oh. Okay. Alright, well then, in that case, we're going to Discover for four. We get the big score here. Sweet. Uh, we'll discard one of our duplicate uh, Quintoriuses. This is going to cast a spell from Exile for Quintorius. And here we go. Land for turn. We can deal another three to the face, I suppose. I think I'll just wait on that one, though. And uh, I don't think I need to have lifelink on my spells just yet. We will pass. Destroy all creatures. Okay. I will uh, hit them for five. Not five. That wasn't cast from exile. It's these spells that are cast from exile. LOL. Um, okay, so we will go ahead and make a token. Let's cast a spell from exile. And we will set up another spell from exile uh, with Virtue or Bone Crusher Giant. I haven't decided yet. We'll be good on life here because we have lifelink on our spells. 
if they deal with the board now, we'll just Heart Flame Duelist as well. And then Quintorius is going to work up towards his next Discover. We seem to be pretty stable right now. Let's see what our opponent can do to mess with that. Nothing. All right. Um, I think I want Bone Crusher Giant still in hand here. If I get a land, I'm going to definitely just play Virtue of Courage. That's going to uh, be good for some card advantage coming up. Uh, it's just Brotherhood's end here. We're going to make a token. We will attempt to hit them for six for the win and see what happens. We got something. We're going to discontinuity me to end the turn. Fine. It's all good. I got Bone Crusher Giant for their end step. We'll gain a life here. Give us some extra work, and they don't think they can deal with me. Okay, sick. Good round two. Uh, I think that it's pretty nice when you get your Discover Triggers out of Quintorius. Um, there's potential for a deck as well that's just going to straight up use the Discover thing to trigger Quintorius, but for here, I think that the fact that we can get a lot out of the value from the Adventure side of our spells, which uh, will trigger things like Virtue of Courage, I think that, plus our ability to actually get some value when we play the cards from Exile, is already just like pretty good because I think being able to have a cheap spell plus a uh, expensive spell that you cast from exile is basically the reason that uh, adventure cards are supposed to be good in general. So the fact that Quintorius adds to that is pretty sweet. All right, good round two. Let's hop into round three. Okay, round three. Let's go. Um, having a Quintorius is not terrible. We get Brotherhoods end and strike it rich. I'll keep seven. Pay two life here. Here comes the strike at Rich. We can hold up Bone Crusher Giant and Lightning Helix next turn. That is a crazy spell for us, okay. Well, now I know what they're doing. We are going to just plan their turn then. Um, I'll resolve this and probably kill the bot Night Bonder. Um, let's do one of our adventure spells here, I think. Alright, let's see what they play here. See if there's anything annoying coming down. They got three mana here. So this is just Flash, it's fine. We can play on their uh, timetable if they really want to. Alright, what comes in? They let us draw. And here's Vendillion Click. Okay, sure. I can see my hand. Resolves. Let's see what they decide to take. We have a lot of plays for this turn. Bone Pressure Giant can be just cast from Exile, so that's good. It'll be a nice little beater that they have to deal with. Then this Brotherhood's End will just uh, always be there for them to deal with. Virtue of Courage here. Um, oh, I actually don't have a third land. That's annoying. Uh, well, we will just use one of the Lightning Helixes or something to take out their creature. Now, do I want to have Lifelink on my spells? That could be cool. I'm going to play a little aggressively in here. I'm going to start taking three a turn here, but until they uh, either A, hold back their Vanillion click, B, commit mana to play a creature, or C, um, do anything else to deal with me, I should be fine to control the pace of this. All right, we found our third mana source. I'll swing in. <clears throat> if they try to ambush me with multiple creatures... I do have the option to Brotherhood's End. Otherwise, I'll just Helix them or something. We'll end turn here, wait for them to do something. Fairy Vandal. Could be worse. Will they play another creature? I'd be pretty happy getting Vendillion Click out of the play here pretty soon. I'll take four for sure. Alright, so let's uh, just deal some damage to the face, I guess. We go to 8, we go to 17. Alright. 
we find another land that can deploy Bone Crusher Giant. We can put him to five here. Looks like no counter spell. Crazy. We're gonna play Bone Crusher Giant here. We get Spell Pierce if it comes down to it, but um, it is what it is. Maybe they did actually have it. Crazy. Bunch of wretched sorrow. Okay. Well, I've technically just upgraded my creatures, I guess. They're not going to block here. They're just going. They don't know about my second lightning helix. Okay, they're going to go to six. Kind of glad that that worked out the way that it did. Oh, I could try to play a Quintorius. So if I play Quintorius this turn and it doesn't get countered, my next turn is uh, play like my Helix or something from Exile plus the Helix from hand, and that's lethal. All right. Do you got it? They're thinking. And it looks like I've got it. They might have Drown in the Lock to kill it, though. Alright, we'll exile our Lightning Helix. And we'll make a token. Orcish Bone Masters is okay. We're gonna have to think about uh, not dying this turn. Kaido Shizuki. Okay, so they've pretty much tapped out here. I should have lethal. Okay, we even have Virtue of Courage as well. That doesn't quite kill, but um, what we'll do is we'll go in like that. Uh, this can be activated at instant speed. Okay, so we'll deal both at them. Wait to see how blockers go. And we should be fine. They basically have to block both of these, but even if they do, they're going to die. Alright, there's one block. And they're going to take three. So I'm going to attempt to Lightning Helix their face. Oh, wait, I have to Sack of Spirit to do it. We'll wait till after damage. Alright, now we will uh, Sack of Spirit. We attempt to deal three damage to them. Alright, looks like we got it. Quintorius is able to make it through. Even though it's not the new Quintorius, uh, we're happy in uh, solidarity with him. Okay, round three is out of the way. Let's hop into round four and see what we can do with uh, our Planeswalker Quintorius. Here we go. All right, round four. What is going to happen this time? We have Planeswalker Quintorius and we have normal Quintorius. I think that's good enough for me. And also these lands don't immediately try to kill me, so that's good. Temple of Silence, okay. Sundown Pass. We'll be able to get that out next turn, holding up Light and Helix. So we're one land away from being able to get our Quintoriuses into play. Sounds good. Uh, we are going to reveal our hand here, probably losing one of our Quintoriuses. That's sad. If they take Helix or Brotherhood's End, that means that they're a creature deck that cares about resolving creatures. If they don't, it means that they're just, you know, classic Esper control. We'll win this game if we can get down a permanent that they can't interact favorably with. Unfortunately, we don't play a lot of stuff with Ward here, so that's going to be a problem. They actually just took Lightning Helix. That is not really what I was expecting to see out of them. So maybe it is not just... Oh, there's a Thought Erasure. Do we take Brotherhood Zend or Quintorius? Alright, we take Planeswalker Quintorius. They don't want to see anything new today. Uh, we get Virtue of Courage here. We could just store that um, in Exile, I guess. We can actually do that plus draw a card, but I think I'd rather have enough uh, set up for Quintorius. Narset Parter of Veils, okay. 
We can just hit her down to one. We don't really care about drawing cards, but we care about our opponents seeing cards. We'll let them uh, choose what they do first. Liliana, okay. We're gonna hurt Narset. You cannot see your folly. Go to my turn. Oh, you know what? I could have just Brotherhood's ended to uh, hurt. Oh well. Here's Quintorius. Let's get him out there. End step. Let's get. Uh, Let's get Big Quintorius into exile. And hopefully our creature Quintorius uh, will survive this turn. Might get Esper Charmed. Or, uh... Okay, Prison Realm, that's a thing that could happen, I guess. Okay, goodbye. At least we got a 3-3. Three, three. We'll be able to kill Narset here, though. Honestly, I don't think that Narset really matters. Am I going to really be drawing cards at all? I think that's not really the case. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do Virtue of Courage here and let that sit on the battlefield, I guess. Swing in. Just do face. So this Heart Flame Duelist will be able to draw me some cards next turn. That's fine. And uh, I think we'll just start with this. See if it'll be allowed to happen. Let's see if the exile three. Let's see what we get. There's some lands and a Chandra. Unfortunately, not castable. And uh, let's get this heart flame duelist out and get ready to hit for three a turn. I have three six seven mana, so I'm kind of thinking that I might want to draw a card here, especially if they're going to be discarding or making me reveal my hand. Destroy all creatures, you got it. Uh, this Liliana is going to eventually be a problem, but we have burned down the house to deal with her. It'll need to be actually both burned down the house and Brotherhood's End, sadly. But uh, we can wrap up these Planeswalkers pretty easily once they come down. Auto pay. Find a Sacred Foundry, so we drew a card off the top of our deck and replaced one of our lands. That's kind of worth it. We get one deeper this way, and hello, that's a Chandra. Put this in tapped, see if Chandra's allowed to resolve. It's a pretty easy Dovin's Veto if they have it, sure. It's unfortunate that we don't have other big Chandra, but oh well, what are we going to do? So here's Liliana. Um... So, obviously, I don't want Liliana to uh, ultimate. So, I'm going to burn down the house. And then Not next turn, Brotherhood's End plus big score. They get, do get a card out of this. It is what it is. But we'll be able to wrap her up this turn unless they drew a counter spell. Fine. Good help is easy to find in war. Okay. Here's a land. Brotherhood's End, does it resolve? That's okay. They're looking for a counter spell, so they didn't have it. Let's see if they found one. They did discard something big. We'll have to take a look at that. So they did actually just run into the Dovin's Veto here. Uh, that was River's Rebuke. Okay. So we'll let this one resolve, and now, unfortunately, we will have to uh, utilize Sunbaked Canyon to get something for big score. But that means that we won't be able to cast big score this turn. Brutal. So now this Liliana is going to get a bit out of control. We'll let it happen. Uh, it's Narset again, looking for more counter spells. So basically, I just need my uh, creature Quintorius's. Oh, there's Teferi. It may, in fact, be over. Stand by and watch. Are they going to bounce my Virtue? If they bounce the Virtue, I kill Teferi, so... I'd be surprised if that's the move. Yep, smart. That's more like it. I will be taking a card here. Blood Crusher Giant, okay. Well, here's Quintorius. They are tapped out. Quintorius could hit another Brotherhood's End. Quint Quintorius would actually have to hit that, actually. 
Oh, this is a little brutal. So, big score gets me something. Yeah, I think I need to hit off of Quintorius. Like, I just need to get lucky here. Alright, let's hope that it's something good. Bone Crush is right. Um, we will cast... We kill anything useful here? Not really. We can put Liliana down. So we can kill Liliana here. It's not going to be, like, amazing. We'll cast Stomp on Liliana. Drain for two. Uh, we will exile some cards here. We will hit Virtue of Courage here. So I'm happy to Virtue of Courage uh, Liliana. Uh, I will decline... Actually, you know what? I will look for a land here. Did not find a land. That's brutal. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, Quintorius ended up actually being a little bit useful there. Uh, we were able to take out the Liliana, which is our biggest source of pain right now. Okay. Little we'll minus. What will they find here? Another Narset. We cast another Narset. Sure. They may not have a power spell in this case. So I think if I draw something good, I'm just jamming. Prison Realm. Okay. That presents an issue for me. I've got it. Might just play the Bone Crusher Giant then. Sure, Teferi is annoying, but he's not the end of the world. I can do Virtue of Courage as a setup turn. Hmm. So how much damage could we start to do to our opponent here? Maybe a lot. Like, we are just a damage-focused deck. So if I do three here, we'll have four mana left over. I'm doing this so that I can cast Heart Flame Duelist. And then just life link and not really care about the, the opponent attacking me at all. Okay, so... Let's go Duelist. Virtue of Courage. Hit the face. Drain for two. We will uh, decline to exile, play Sacred Foundry, and tapped. Okay. We'll have another Bone Crusher Giant to start off the damage, and hopefully that will uh, be enough for us to find some more things to do. Otherwise, we'll just cast Bone Crusher Giants with our remaining mana. Oh, Ugin's going to be able to kill our Virtue of Courage. That's no bueno. I'm going to let them hit me for four here. No blocks. They'll just hit for two. Then it looks like it's going to be Ugin killing my Virtue of Courage. Okay. So that's not awesome, but we can take out the Ugin. I think this is going to be another setup turn. So here is Bone Crusher Giant to kill Ugin. Here is Backup Virtue of Courage. And uh, I'm not going to bother to attack. Our life total is pretty secure right now. Prison Realm takes out Duelist, okay. Now the life total starts to matter a little bit. Maybe a setup turn here where we just play double Bone Crusher Giants. Alright, so they're worried about their life total. They did not bounce with Teferi. They realize what uh, I'm getting out of this. They discard some land, so they're happy with their land count right now. Uh, looks like the move is just going to be to play a bunch of Bone Crusher Giants. Uh, if they're trying to reprieve spells back to my hand, this is fine for me. Otherwise, we are just chilling. Here's a land here, and we're just going to set up for a big next turn here. We can block their attacks, letting them draw cards, if they have the Liliana in play. But right now, these are just 2-2s. Two if they bounce something to my hand, then I have a shock for the following turn. So return Prison Realm, giving me back Heart Flame Duelist. I want to get rid of my Crusher. 
Okay, that's fine. I don't have any more of those in hand. It's just big scores. Big scores can start off a good turn for me as well. Ugin's back. Oh my gosh. All right. We're going to lose another Virtue of Courage. Okay, makes sense. Bathe in ghost fire. And they'll be up with one mana left. So I am going to go in here and I think probably try to attack down Ugin. They're going to have to just double chump block unless they want to kill a Bone Crusher. Okay, cool, makes sense. And we'll go for big score here, leaving me five mana up, plus the two that I'll make. All right, we can't draw, so we'll just uh, bank some mana this way. There's our next Virtual Courage. Yeah, so big score actually doesn't do a whole lot for me right now. Just banks me some mana. Prison Realm, okay. Is the crusher. Sadly, that's not a, not a targeted ability. It's an ETB. They're reading the Bone Crusher Giant to see why they survived that. <laughs> Man, okay, what do we do here? I've got time. This is getting a little tough. So they have the third Prison Realm. I mean, they're just doing a textbook job here in Esper of keeping me under control. This is just like a smothering wave that I've got to endure. All right, that's Quintorius. Hopefully they don't have another counter spell. Ah, uh, they have it. Oh, they don't. Okay, this could be okay. All right, we're gonna discover four. I'm gonna get to hit them for a little bit. Brotherhood's end, wow, that's great. Is that, that kills everything, wow. All right, Brotherhood's end, yes, please. We will exile. Oh yeah, this is awesome. This is hard to my worst. All right, uh, let's go ahead and make an adventure. And we will strike it rich now. Okay, so you go. We have drawn what we needed to at the right time. Now the lock looks a little bit less bad. Uh, we don't care about losing the big score. Well, I guess we kind of care, but it's not the worst. Here comes Mr. Teferi to rain on our parade. We need to draw some damage right now. That's not damage crap. Okay, so this is just going to be Virtue of Loyalty. Strike it rich. We will hold the uh, land in hand. Okay. And our sets are coming back in, oh my gosh. Well, we really just care about the Ugin more or less. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in exile right now. We need to just hope for another good draw here. That Quintorius was great. Uh, this Thought Erasure is going to not hit if they decide to cast it. And uh, are they going to hit our hand? They actually don't decide to. That's surprising. But now I think they have Thought Erasure. Ugh, that's brutal. The uh, Instant Speed Thought Erasure. We drew exactly the card that we needed to. That's brutal. Okay, well... Looks like we'll just go ahead and drop out a land, and we will top deck for the win. Now it's just going to depend on how many card draw effects, or sorry, how many uh, hand hate effects that they're going to be able to have at instant speed here. Yes, yes. I have a plan. All right. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, we uh, cannot really play big score here, nor will it really matter. We go to 9, then to 6. Opponent is back up to almost 20. I think that we are just about done here. Good little looping of both of Kai here. I'm really loving the gameplay here, and that's actually going to be lethal here with uh, the final Oath of Kai. I mean, well-controlled game out of my opponent. Um... This really brings me back to like OG um, War of the Spark Planeswalker control here. 
Uh, we back then Ugin was new, new to Fairy, new Narset. All of these things were new for the first time. Legions end. You don't really see a lot anymore. Uh, that was once upon a time a very big card. Uh, back in like the standard gaze days. Um, Liliana, another great card. And then basically you just pair these things with board wipes and everything that clears up the board. You have uh, the counter spells for um, the mirror matches. So this kind of seems like a best of one adaption of a maybe. 2020 2021 um best of three control deck so really cool deck really well played by my opponent and uh, they definitely deserve that game for us let's hop into round five and see if we can get one more game with quintorius here okay round five this is the last one we've got quintorius in hand we have a creature and we have a little bit of ramp you know i'm keeping that one Alright, here we go with Striker Rich. I'm thinking that turn 2 is going to be Virtue of Loyalty, turn 3 can be another Striker Rich. Canyon comes in. Let's get a creature out to see if uh, pressuring my opponent will lead us to anything. And then we will just move towards Quintorius time. Oh, is it? But with a Liliana. Oh wait, no, no. Sorry, I did see that there's a black mana. So this is just uh, Grixis control. All right, so we have two Strike It Riches here. That means that we can put our Sacred Foundry in tap. Just cast these two, and then Quintorius the following turn. <clears throat> we get in for two. Faithful Mending, okay. Is that an Omniscience? Yes, it was. Okay, I see what we're doing here. So let's play the Pass. Play a Quintorius. We'll discover. Brotherhood's End. That's annoying. Um, we actually don't want to cast either of these. We'll put it in hand. And we'll attack for two. Alright, so now we're going to start pumping out some spirits. If we draw the other Quintorius, we'll have some fodder to work with. Oh, it's actually just a straight up Teferi. So are they going to tuck my Quintorius? I wouldn't mind that. Nope, they just draw. Okay. Um, it would be nice to draw some sort of damage that wasn't symmetrical. Uh, this would be great. I'm going to make a creature. I'm going to move the combat and hit to ferry down to three. So now if this beacon resolves, and I hope it does. Nice, we get to take out to ferry. We'll burn Phyrexia to ash. Uh, deal one to their face as well. And cool, we own all the Planeswalkers now. We can go for an alternate Virtue of Loyalty play. Alright, well, that's a thing that could happen, I guess. Um, Quintorius will always make a creature. And will Chandra want to kill something? Chandra can go to four... Then go down to three and kill Liliana. Um, make a virtual loyalty here. I could have big sword, I guess. Um, this is fine. And turn. We can actually just utilize Brotherhood's End to sweep up the board as well. I think I'm going to draw a card at the end of my turn, or at the end of their turn. Faithful Mending again. Alright, they're really going in on the draw discard here. They have oh, so many things in here. I mean, once they get to their... Is it 7, 8 mana? I think it's 7 mana for the ultimatums. 
We'll be in a lot of trouble once that happens. All right, let's draw a card. Resolves. We have Quintorius here. Who do I turn? We will create a spirit. It's unfortunately gonna die. We will see if they'd like to block here or we'd see if they'd like to let themselves take some damage. They will block, draw a card, okay. Oh crap, Sphinx is in the graveyard. Do they have their ultimatum in here? They do not. Oh, wait, wait, they do. It's eerie ultimatum, oh god. Okay, so. Brotherhood's end might be something that I need to hold on to. They can draw the card. We're gonna plus here. Or I could minus and kill Liliana. Though if they bring it back, I mean, they already have a Liliana in grave, so it is whatever. It's actually not whatever, because if uh, Vorinclux comes back, they get Lily ultimate. But they get Lily ultimate anyway, so... Oh, this is difficult. Um, how do I deal the most damage to my opponent? I think it involves playing Quintorius. Yeah, I want to keep my board around because of virtual loyalty. I mean, if they ultimate me, it's just kind of over in multiple ways. So I got to play towards what if I'm given another turn. So I have five mana. I'll get two extra mana from Chandra. Doesn't really make too much sense to go like that. In Graveyard, I have a bunch of Striker Riches only. And it's only instant and sorcery through Chandra. So I'm going to just hope to speak in here. One, two. Let's get big score into the Graveyard. Either that or Brotherhood's End. I'll put Brotherhood's End into the Graveyard, actually. That way we have choices. We will big score a bunch of times here. And we can actually do this once more, I believe, right? Uh, we cannot copy twice, that's right. Here's a land, we have nine mana. We can hit plus play Virtue of Courage. Or I can Quintorius now hold up the front side of Virtue of Courage. Okay, that's what I want to do. We'll move to ends of step. Uh, and then we make sure to resolve Quintorius first. Let's put Brotherhood's End into Quintorius. And now we have a pretty formidable army. They make a token, okay. They're looking to see what my Planeswalkers do and how dead they are, which means that they might not combo this turn. All right, they're still looking. If they find Mizix's Mastery here, it's all over. Oh God, it's Genesis Ultimatum too. Okay. Have we dodged? We have dodged, okay. Virtue of Courage, start working on uh, Liliana. She's dead. Alright. Move to my turn. We can shock a foundry. We're going to copy a big score because that's essentially free. We'll discard our Virtue of Loyalty. Copy with Chandra. Get a bunch of cards here. We have some damage. We have Chandra's Hope's Beacon as well. We'll make some mana here first. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, oh, I kind of wish I could go back. I'd like to deal damage to their face and to their uh, creature. All right, we'll make red. We are going to discover four here. Uh, Lightning Helix can go to uh, this creature. It'll maximize damage. Deal some damage. That's great. And then Virtue of Courage can come down. This could have been a little bit differently done, but we now have uh, Lethal. All right. Well, we made it work here. This was probably the most impactful and impressive game of the whole series so far. I'm glad you guys sticked around to see it.
Well, that brings us to the end. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see the deck list, it will be linked in the description. And as always, if you want to support the channel, subscribe if you're new here, like and comment to help with the algorithm. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you're enjoying Ixalan as much as I am.